one of the most important things when we're talking about warm up and mini bands is the idea that there are three mini bands which are great because it gives me optimal variance and optimal resistance. So I can go ahead and put these on. I'm going to put the heavy one or the medium one right above my knee. I'm going to flatten it out so it's nice and comfortable for me. And then I'll drop this yellow one right over my ankles. It's more flexible and so I can give it a little bit more flex. Now what I like about it is that there's a logic to what I'm about to do. The emphasis of the training session today, if it's linear in focus, where I'm down in a nice athletic base position, my start potentially will be a bent knee forward walk. Chest tall, hips back, forward and reverse, really spreading the bands, firing my glutes. Maybe the emphasis is on absolute speed where I need to be tall posturally. And so then I can do a straight leg lateral walk. And back. Again, keeping the bands nice and taut to allow optimal resistance on my glutes. You can also do things to work your tensor fascia lata or that muscle that rotates your femur. And you can do internal, external rotations, really firing up my glutes. Again, depending on the emphasis, the focus of our training session. And lastly, if we're gonna create a fourth glute activation warm up with the mini bands, we can drive our foot back to really engage that hip, not only the dynamic moving side, but this plant leg, my stability leg, that's on fire right now, keeping my entire body in correct posture as I work on my warm-up. Whew, that's a good one.